are less than a week away from Formula One race weekend in Las Vegas. Race fans are looking forward to the Grand Prix. Some business owners say the infrastructure and construction is keeping customers away from them. Fox says Molly McBride shows us. I'm standing in one of the two entrances to Jay's Market on Flamingo. Now I can stand here without any concern that I'm going to be hit by a car because it's entirely blocked off to traffic. A huge concern for owner Wade Bond. Bond is no stranger to F1 issues. Last year, he estimates he lost millions from this temporary bridge over Flamingo. That bridge has fewer lanes this year, but a new pedestrian bridge is a new point of contention. This is worse than last year. Not only is one of the two entrances to his business blocked, Bond says it will be blocked much longer than it was last year when it was fenced off due to track barriers. There was just a fence here uh -huh. and it was literally taken down the day after the race. So I had immediate access to both entrances. F1 Senior Vice President of Consumer Affairs, Lori Nelson Kraft, says whether the pedestrian bridge was built along Bond's property or not, the entrance would be blocked regardless for the same amount of time as it was last year. She says they met with Bond to explain their plans in June and have been meeting with impacted businesses monthly, but Bond hasn't joined. You've had one conversation with me like four months ago. You're talking to me? You're not talking to me. Bon also expressing concerns about product delivery on top of sales. Trying to get the semis in here are very tough to do. They have to come in from Flamingo and then jockey around. Back it up, back it up, back it up. He says he feels stabbed in the back by the city he grew up in. It's an hour and a half race once a year, hour and a half, and I suffer pretty much half the year. As of now, four businesses in this Flamingo and Koval area have filed lawsuits against F1. Bond says that his own lawsuit is in progress. Reporting near Koval and Flamingo, Molly McBride, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. You can read F1's full statement under this web story on foxlasvegas.com.